Well, there's still a lot of people concerned about credit card transactions, whether that's out in the brick and mortar world or the digital world, and about things like fraud, so they still write checks. And literally millions and millions of checks are written every year, especially by small businesses. Well, did you know how easy it is to actually forge a check? There's a process called check washing where you can actually wash all the amounts off and then write in the amounts that you want. Well, to help prevent fraud, there's new pen technologies. We're gonna talk with uh, Tracy Framingham today. Thanks for coming on the show again. Thanks for having me. Tracy Tracy's from uh, Newell Rubbermaid. They make all sorts of different uh, office products and technologies. Uh, but today we're talking about Uniball pens. And uh, these have a technology in them that uh, help prevent check washing or check forging. Um, well, first thing, Uniball pens use uh, gel ink, okay. gel-based ink versus um, a paste or a dye. And if you take a look at the gel-based ink, it's a solid yep. to start with. But with friction and motion, and movement, it becomes a liquid. So that's kind of how it works. Okay. So the friction of the ball in the pen, as well as the movement of the pen, allows the ink to turn into a liquid, but then as it hits the paper, it then turns back into its solid format. So, so it doesn't smudge. Exactly, it's a nice smooth writing experience and doesn't smudge. And I mean, that's great for lefties out there. Are you a lefty? No, but my uh, my son is a lefty and he's always <laughs> smudging his stuff as he yes. goes along. So that, that would help prevent that. It'll help prevent getting yeah, the smudging and the, the ink marks on your hand. Yeah. So it's great for that. Another great benefit of using gel ink is that it will use a pigment-based color instead of a dye-based color. So as you can see, just looking at these two, this is the pigment and this is the dye. It's a lot more vibrant and bright. Yeah. It also tends to be longer lasting. So for archiving documents, uh, it won't fade over time, whereas a dye-based will fade over time. With a dye, it's basically just staining the paper. Okay. Whereas pigmenting actually embeds itself into the paper fibers and weaves its way through, so it can't be washed out. So you cannot chemically alter um, any documents. Well, let's do a demo here. So uh, we'll give you a piece of paper. I've already written uh, some uh, true words here. Uh, it's a good message for the, the viewers at home. Yeah, and you wrote that in the Uniball, so I'm gonna yeah. use a different model, which is a, a dye base. So I'll write on this one with the um, other pen that's liquid base, and I'm gonna write Mike is not cool. And clearly we want that washed off because it's just wrong. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna stick this in the solvent. Yeah, so I will open this up, and this is basically, it's just a um, okay. common household solvent, very cheap, you can pick up at any drugstore, so very inexpensive way. But but don't these solvents like destroy the paper? Nope, uh, no. you'll notice it's a fast dry. Okay. Dries really quickly, and uh, the paper will dry, and you'll see that you actually would not even know that it was in anything. So I'm gonna put it in here. Um, I'll just shake this for a little while. Normally, probably they would leave it in for five minutes, but you'll see how quickly the, it comes off. And our pen, our Uni Super Ink's been tested on over 100 common solvents that check washers commonly use. So, okay. um, and it's held up every time. Uh, let's take a look at what we have here now. So we'll just take these papers out and uh, You'll be happy to see that Mike is cool. Mike is still cool. And it's, it's held up well, still just as wow. vibrant. It's like, yeah, just like I had just written it. Yeah, and even in the, you know, 30 seconds, you can already see Mike is not cool is starting to wash out. <laughs> so it's killing, the so things you are leave, killing me. you leave this in a few more Oh my minutes, God, it's like gone. And it would be completely that gone. That is gone. So yeah. what a check writer or forger would do would basically just wipe out the amounts on the, the Yeah, check. they would put a, probably a piece of tape over top of your signature so that they keep the integrity of the signature intact. They would put that in, wash out the amounts, and then they could write in really anything they want and um, take it right out of your bank account. It's kind of freaky how simple that is. Mm -hmm. And so what kind of price are we talking uh, about uh, per pen? I mean, it's like a 20 or $30 pen. No, no, you're probably in the range of two to four dollars per pen. If you yeah. buy multi-pack sizes, you know, a little, you know, range up to $10, but per pen about two to four dollars, depending on the features and benefits of the pen. Well, obviously a uh, must have for any small business to prevent this kind of stuff. Exactly. Tracy, where can people find out more information about the pens? On our website at uniball-na.com. You want to check that out if you're a small business or you write checks, a small price to pay to make sure that you're not a victim of check forgery.